praise Master Jesus. All right, I'm happy to see you tonight. God bless you for coming. I have prepared a short sermon for us tonight. I was meditating upon the word of God and thinking to the Lord, what shall I speak to his people? And then the word Jezebel dropped in my heart. The spirit of Jezebel. Many of us today know that when we say Jezebel, what comes to our heart is a woman in the Bible. When we say spirit of Jezebel, or when we say word Jezebel, you just talk about a woman in the Bible, the wife of Ahab, Queen Jezebel. But we ought to know that beyond just being a wife to a king in the Bible, there is such a spirit as Jezebel that have ravaged homes and families. This spirit specializes in destruction of families, marriages, and even churches like men of God. And that is why we as children of God need to be equipped with the knowledge of the word Jezebel. So that when we hear the word Jezebel, what comes to our hearts will not be a woman, a wife that was manipulative or a wicked woman. I remember going to a church one of those days and when I was entering the church premises, um, I was stopped by the entrance and they told me, oh, we, we don't dress like this here, we don't look like this here. And I was like, what happened, man? And she said, you're looking like Jezebel. <laughs> you know? And I was looking like Jezebel because I had a, a weave on and I had, I had makeup on. But the church doesn't apply makeup and wigs. And I was really confused because I don't think I make up. I just, I think I appear as, as mild as I can be. But that is the much they think about Jezebel. If you have makeup on your face, you are a Jezebel. Then many men today have confused the word Jezebel to mean women. Or to think that when they say somebody is possessed with the spirit of Jezebel, it means that the person has to be a woman. That's not true. Jezebel is a spirit that does not respect gender. As a matter of fact, it flourishes more in the life of men as I began to study the word of God. It may appear in form of a woman, but it, 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 it flourishes more when it, it possesses a man. I was wondering, when I was studying the word, I was like, why does it have to be that a king's wife has to be Jezebel? And she have to incite her husband, manipulate her husband, drive her husband to the point he got to. Why didn't the spirit, that Jezebel, why didn't she just work on herself? Many things she did in the Bible, she did using people to do it. It means when the spirit of Jezebel possesses a man, the man does not even know that they have been possessed by the spirit of Jezebel. Why? Because this spirit is very cunning, very deceptive, and very seductive. So tonight, we'll be looking at things we need to look out for as Christians, especially in our marriages, our homes, in our churches, to understand if the influence of the spirit of Jezebel is at work there. Many men and women who are possessed with this spirit hardly even agree to it. They don't even understand what the spirit is all about. So they just live their life and think they are smart. Why? Because the spirit of Jezebel does not flourish in a dull person's life. It seeks to destroy great and mighty people. So when you see a man who is doing well, such a man is a target for the spirit of Jezebel. When you see a beautiful woman, she's such a target to be possessed by that spirit to be used against men. So it means both men and women can be possessed with the spirit of Jezebel. So tonight, I will take us through a short journey for us to understand. Turn with me to the Bible, the first Kings chapter 21, verse 25 to 27. First Kings 21, 25 to 27. Praise God. He said, but there was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord because Jezebel, his wife, stirred him up 
and he behaved very abominably in following idols and according to all that the Amorites had done, whom the Lord has cast out before the children of Israel. So it was when Ahab heard those words that he tore his clothes and put on sackcloth on his body and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went about mourning. So the word of God here is telling us that Ahab did the things he did because he was stirred up. Some translation will say because he was incited. He was, he was encouraged. He was pushed. He was manipulated by Jezebel. But you need to know that Ahab wasn't the only man who may have suffered from this spirit. A lot of men of the old suffered from the same Jezebel while she was alive. But you see, the story or the history of Jezebel is treated as Ahab's wife. But even after she was gone, that spirit continued to talk to many people. Because any spirit you associate with, you contact, you begin to carry it about. You begin to spread. So this spirit was very good in destroying lives and destinies by making them behave in certain ways, in certain manners. And that is why tonight, as children of God, we need to be on guard to know that sometimes our behaviors may be under the influence of a demon. So when we hear Jezebel, what comes to our mind should not be a woman in the Bible who was wicked or who had a husband she controlled or who killed people. We should know that in today's world, there is such a thing as spirit of Jezebel. Second Kings chapter 9 verse 30. Let's understand why we always think the spirit of Jezebel is a woman. Or when we hear Jezebel, just assume it's just a woman. Second Kings 9:30. I read. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel had a faith, and she painted her face, tied her head, and looked out at a window. And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, Had Zimri peace who slew his master 32 and he lifted up his face to the window and said who is on my side who and dear looked out to him two or three eunuchs and he said throw her down so they threw her down and some of her blood was sprinkled on the world and on the horses, and he threw her underfoot. Praise Tell God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You see, this was the reason why that church felt that making up or putting a weave on your hair was the spirit of Jezebel. Or are you reminding them of Jezebel? Jezebel's spirit does not have anything to do with a woman looking beautiful. Because, as a matter of fact, in such churches, women tie their hair and cover their hair. Jezebel was known as a woman who always covered her hair. Her hair was not always exposed. She was always covered with her hair. It's always covered. But she made up. She put paint on her eyes. So she, she was referred as a beautiful woman because she made up and always appears presentably or seductively. So it has nothing to do with a woman covering her hair. Because today in the present time and age, when we say woman covering her hair, we assume she's holy. Or she has a good spirit. But in this case, the Jezebel, Jezebel as herself was not that kind of woman. She covered her hair, but she was wicked. She was an embodiment of wickedness. Praise God. So when you hear the word Jezebel, what should come to your mind is not a woman in the Bible who, who was a prophetess or who covered her hair or who made up. What comes to mind is a demon at work. A demon that uses seductiveness, that uses cunningness, or is it deception to destroy lives?